We've been looking for you for days. You, you go off like that on your own, just leaving us a note. Why? Now, if Hubert and I had come with oh, you... Oh, stop lecturing me, Charles. Sweet F.A. He never found him, and he was there all the time, so it seems. The sooner we're all safe back home at Challoner, the better. We're going to Lichfield. Aye? Brickyard and a pottery near there. That's where Greg is, or he will be in a couple of days, according to Agnes. Anyway, by now, it's nearer than Challoner. How long's that going to take us? Three or four days at the most. Where are we going to spend the night? Here, Jenny saw an elephant at Marbury. She tell you, wild beasts on the loose. She's lost her gun. We've got little or no provisions. My gun's up the spout. So, Hubert still grumbles, does he? Cheer up, Hubert. We spent tomorrow night at a farm about 20 miles from here. Craig and I visited it on our way from Whitecross. It's run by a man called Tom Walter. There's nothing even Greg could teach Tom. The Walters have everything. Everything he said didn't include rats, did you? We would just have to camp here. We better light a fire. At least there's plenty to burn. What about the roast lamb I was promised? Nothing to eat all day. You can go longer than a day before you feel it. Speak for yourself. Hubert! Light a fire. Jenny and I'll go and hunt something. Shotgun? Shoot it through the eyes. Leave that pig alone. Who are you? This is our territory. What do you mean, your territory? Talking deer. Do your shots scare them off? Right then, let's get it, shall we? Lucky you didn't go in the woods yourself. Nasty things are traps, you don't know where they're set. Have to get it right through the top of the head. Takes a long time dying otherwise. Well, come on then, give us an hand. Oh, no. Hey, your friend's ass up there. Yes, I'll get him. 
What else do you hunt? Jane, deer. We don't need no guns, neither. All right, then. Let's get going. The only place we're going is back to our friends. Who the hell do you think you are? Broad's men. Who's Broad? He says shoot first, and then ask the questions. You could learn something from him. Now, are you going to ride or walk? Wrong. Not to be disturbed. She's sick? She's exhausted. Over here, by the fire. Oin, bring some soup. I think she's too tired to eat. Bottom in the woods, a shotgun. They got friends at the farm, he says. We'd be with them now if it weren't for you two. Fetch them. At this time of night. Only just made it here. I'm not going over that hill again. They're in the farmhouse. There's rats in the house. Well, the dogs will get them. They'll have made a fire. They'll be all right till morning. We'll Bring fetch them then. Bring that soup over here, Owen. Where are you from? The West Country. It's a long story. We thought there'd be a community at that farm, but it's deserted. My son's farm. John Walters. Are you his mother? He's two of my youngest. Stephen Owen. They're more Broad's lads now. Who is this Broad? He drove us from the farm. Tom had gone by then and we were helpless. Well, I... Uh, I'll get you all something to eat and then indoors for a good night's sleep. Indoors where? I can tell Broad. He's got company. Maybe. Tell him tomorrow when you fetch his friends. Oh, poor girl. She's worn out. Aye, we've had a rough time. so exhausted last night, I carried you in here myself. A railway carriage? Three of them. On an embankment. Look. The dogs can't get up there. And on this side... Oh. Protected by the river. Who are they? A bunch of brigands, I think. Broad's gang, whoever Broad may be. Had a good kip. You should have first-class compartment to yourselves. Jenny and Charles, right? Uh, are you broad? Where's the ammo for this pop gun? I'm wearing it. Let's have it. It's my gun. <laughs> On my railway. Do you all sleep on this train? Yeah, except those that don't pull their weight. They sleep with the horses. More serious offenders, they sleep on that side of the embankment. Sometimes, don't see them again. 
We didn't ask to board your train, you know. You had a sight more comfortable night than your friends did in the open air. Hubert and Agnes. I was told they were being fetched. Yeah, then the dining car. Tooking into porridge. Are you too hungry? I expect Jenny's starving. I had something to eat last night. Yeah, so I heard. A right good nosh up. Yes. I feed everyone well. That's why they all love me. <laughs> I look after them. I'll see you in the dining car. You'll find my rates are quite reasonable. Rates? Hmm. For bed and breakfast. How did it happen? You had the cows to make cheese and sheep to give you wool. You even had your own loom. And there was a mill that Tom got working too. But no grain. We had more cheese and wool than we needed, but no flour. Tom thought we should trade. So he went up to the Dales, where he heard people were growing wheat. How long has he been gone? Three months. Brad showed up the day after he left. He started raiding us. He carried off everything he needed, even our ball. In the end, without Tom, we had no choice but to join him. Join your breakfast? <coughs> oh, pardon me. <laughs> Good. My stomach didn't know what it did. <laughs> All you have to do now is earn it. These people are our guests. You'll find it's a funny thing about this train. It doesn't carry passengers. Yeah. Tell you another funny thing about it. It's not going anywhere, neither. Get off any time you like. Find your own food and shelter. <laughs> <laughs> we won't impose on you. We'll be off just as soon as we can. Fine. When you've settled up... Charles is looking round your camp. Doesn't he want breakfast? Well, after all you stuffed him with last night. I'll get you some porridge and a spoon. A spoon? <laughs> Edith likes us all to eat dainty on this train. Sure, a school ma'am, you know. So you better watch out, Hubert, or teacher will send you out of the room for dirty manners. <laughs> I'll uh, see you all at the fire when you feel you've had sufficient. Except uh, you, Jenny. You can work your passage by sweeping out the train. OK? Oh, and uh, don't forget my compartment. I'll come back later to inspect. the better. See that scarf he was wearing? Sheffield United. What is this? Football special. Does it need more salt? I've got some here. I try and keep everything here that's at all precious. No, it's fine, thanks. Save the salt. We were a teacher. <laughs> well, we were all something once. Tom was at Agricultural College then. Steve and Dylan were mechanics. Tom found the form and they joined him. You're not really going to move on at once, are you? Well, I... I need you to get the farm back. Fishing. Bank from bank. Bait the other side. You scoop of all you want. What if somebody downstream fancies a nice fish? Ah, Charlie. It's all I need. Taking a stroll. A nice, pleasant walk round the gardens before lunch. What became of that bull you stole from Edith Water? Got right away. Proved a match for you, did it? You surprise me. I'll hunt it down one day. I'll kill it for meat. I used to be a butcher in a slaughterhouse. Can't live on meat, you know. <laughs> we don't. Here, 
You see those kids there? They know all about nuts and grasses and herbs. And I've taught them all they know. How did a butcher learn? From a mate of mine. This is his scarf. Football fan, was he? Andy. <laughs> he was a poacher. He taught me more about survival than I'd ever learned from you. What became of him? He tried to be a farmer, settle down, grow crops. But the dogs didn't take to him. If he'd stayed a hunter... Edith Walter had a very good farm before you came raiding it. Ah, oh, come on. There's nothing a farmer can grow that you can't get by hunting. It's a jungle out there. All over the farm last these days against the dogs. It's gone mad out there. Once we link up and start trading, man will soon get control again. There, you're a dreamer. It's about time you earn your night's lodging. The water book needs filling up. Put it round your neck. It's a yoke. Hey! Less than a quart from the cows this morning. Oh. We used to have enough to make cheese. All sorts of cheese. I remember. Most of it's still stored up at the farm. And our wool, too. The rats haven't got it by now. Well, I'd better go and see to the master's room. Jenny's doing that. The girl who came last night. Oh, so she's the new chambermaid, is she? What happened to your sheep? Oh, there's still a few left. Rest her up on the hill somewhere. He kills them if he wants them. Kill them so if they go on eating that rubbish. They should be up on the hills with a couple of good shepherds to keep guard. Safe enough if you bring them in at night. Yeah, that's the way we used to do it. Didn't we, Owen? Remember when you were a shepherd? Oh, he finds life more exciting now. Tom taught you to be smiths. You still are. Got a forge of sorts over there. And all they ever make is arrow heads. Oh, if I don't get home soon, Agnes, there'll be nothing left to start again with. Charlie's bringing water from the river. We don't need any in a butt's fall. So is the river. Pick it up, Hubert. <laughs> now then, Blondie, can you uh, carry water on your head? Like a slave girl. <laughs> Let's see. Come here. Come on. Stand here. There we are. Now then. Let's see how you look. Stevie, give us your bow. Come on, Hubert. Take a good look at her. Just keep still, Agnes. What is he doing? What the devil are you up to? Just watch. <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be an apple. I could do it with a chestnut. Right then, let's see how you get on. No, show off if you like. Oh, but you might, miss. <laughs> right then, time for archery practice. Bring it to the butt, Owen. Come on, have the double. You heard him. Run, come on. I want you all groveling to him. He has to. Otherwise, people might think there's a more civilised way to live and what will become of him then? Leave him. Round up your cattle and sheep and take everyone back to the farm. No one would follow me. Have you tried? Oh, if Tom were still with me, they might, but just me. Broad could shoot a pea off your head. I can't shoot at all. Your farm's well protected as long as Broad's not there to raid it. Stephen Owen must know that at least. It's not just that it's safer to ride behind Broad than farm with me. Learn to hunt, shoot straight. You're invincible these days. Oh, it's a great life for a lad. Getting better and better.
Come on then, Hubert. <laughs> now then, Hubert. <laughs> Steve, come here. You've got to get the hole right first. Steve will show you. He'll give you a few lessons. We'll soon make a hunt out of you, Hubert. What makes you think that? The way you ate your breakfast this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Finished? Yes, sir. Come in. Let's see. You haven't finished the bed. Folded the blanket. Should be properly tucked in. I'm surprised you don't have sheets. <laughs> you surprised a lot more than that. I'm beginning to get used to it. Charlie can spend the morning fetching water, I think. He needs toughening up. In the afternoons, I'll teach him to hunt. We're not staying here, you know. Is that a fact? Edith is hoping you'll get the farm back for her. You could do that yourself. Yeah. I'll put Hubert on guard duty. Sitting on his backside at the entrance, we're across for all day. Should be a nice, cushy job for him. <laughs> But you'll have to learn to shoot straight first. What about me and Agnes? Agnes? Then help Edith. As for you, you know the old saying, if you make your bed, you must lie in it. Your work will be the least arduous of all. Does she want to? What do you think, Charles? Did you even ask? Let's get the horses, Hubert. You think you have some right? Those are my terms. Terms? Your whole style's like some robber baron out of a fairy tale. A giant in his castle, droit de seigneur. <laughs> Is it a deal or not? You knew from the start it never would be. Certain services in return for board and lodging. Now, fair's fair. Where's Agnes? Between the horses. For my fodder. You tell her to fetch them. Tell her we're leaving. Where for? That's our concern. They can go to the Sheridans. Some people we know up the river. It's not more than 30 miles. It'll be there by dark. She hasn't even seen them for a year. I'm sure they're still there. Why shouldn't no, they be? No, we're not going there. We're going back to your farm, Edith, with you. Well, well. How about that? How will I manage without you? Exactly. Without Edith to cook and organise for you, this place will fall apart. Edith's going back to the farm. Will you desert me too, Mavis? Right, get your things together. We're leaving. The boys must come too. If they won't, they'll soon follow. Will you stay till they do? All right. You could be in for quite a long wait. A couple of days at most. I don't think I'll have her back. When the time comes for you to get on your travels again, and you don't like to leave her on her own. She'll not be on her own by then. I'm going to talk to the boys. Subvert my people. Go to the Sheridans. No. Keep... You go to the farm. Show them you have some confidence in it and they'll all come back to it. Allow me to think I know them better than you do, Jenny. We'll keep in touch from the Sheridans. You've got the horses ready, but one's gone lame. Well, that's a good mare, Governor. If you'll let us have one in exchange, you'll not lose by it. No one takes my horses. You can ride behind me, Hubert. I'll let you have food, mind. Me own dinner. Have the whole joint. What is this? Edith's. On the plate. <laughs> I might have guessed. My shawl. Not very ladylike. Let me have those rabbits too. I was skinny, Mavis. You know, you get more like my missus every day. <laughs> you were married? Yes. And she thought I was uncouth too. A butcher. She ran off with a tax inspector. Tried to better herself. Intellectual type. You're not a tax inspector, are you, Charlie? You can forget about the food. Need something for the journey. There <laughs> speaks sense. A man after my own heart is Hubert. Another Andy. Tie it all up in that shawl. Open the carriage door, Mavis. Open it. Throw that 
that's all done, the embankment. Well, come on, neighbours! Now then. They're after it. You can't send them off on foot. They're welcome to stay if they like. I've offered them fair terms, taking their share of the work. Perhaps if you left Jenny alone, they might accept. Jenny? She's the gotch of it. Now you're going to stay. Don't seem to have any choice. You've got a choice, mate. Hang about, Charles. Stupid. All right. Give me my gun. Don't have a hunters, not farmers. You'll give them something to protect themselves with. Do you with. want to go too? Come on, then. A long walk ahead of us. It's past belief. Risking your lives rather than stay with me. The whole country's a jungle. It's a wild, crazy shambles out there. And you lot hold on to your... Daft Toffino's pride! <laughs> well, you can't tell me I'm so uncouth that you'd rather die yes, than... Yes, you are. What do you think we're surviving for? To live like you? Get after them! <laughs> You knew they'd be there! It's time they face folks! You know, I have a whole joint for dinner. So there's plenty left over to throw to the dogs. The less hungry they are, the less troublesome. <laughs> My terms, understand? <laughs> Everything I want, get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah can't you? You'll end up more tomorrow when I start to make a hunter out of you. <laughs> no side, Steve. Take Hubert. You know the drill. Go on, Hubert, get after him. Think you're a big man, don't you, Broad? Big enough to see things as they are and face up to them. Not big enough to see things as they could be. Get off your nag. We're hunt on foot. You know, instead of hunting in this jungle, you could clear it with your skill. Make it safe for traders. You'd be the biggest man around here for miles. I'd try something other than flattery if I were you. <laughs> well, I'm saving common sense for the others. <laughs> they won't desert me, Charlie. No? Until now, you've had no competition. <laughs> you mean to challenge me? What do you think? We just stick around here until we find a safe means of escape? Can't leave this area, it's too important. Owen! Give me a bow. Take care of the horses. I'll show you how to load it. When the time comes. Where'd you get these? Museum. I made that one. Steve made his own as well. Modelled them on broads. Used a couple of old car springs. Molded the rest of the metal on the forge. First rate job. Will you make one for me? Sure. Only if I say so. Oh, you make one of these, you make anything. Invaluable a skill like that. That's Steve. Get going, Charlie. I'm right behind you. 
books. Edith. Middlemarsh by George Eliot. The Bible. English Crafts. The poems of John Clare. Was he a great English poet? No, I liked him. I wonder why she keeps them. They're important to her. No one's ever going to read again, are they? Well, if not, what's it all for? Cheer up. Hmm. All you have to do is the dishes. Well, how do you like being the new chambermaid, then? Was that your job? Till you turned up. You can have it back any time you like. Oh, you've nothing to fear. All Broad can ever raise are your hopes, which are very soon dashed. Well, why do you think he has to be such a man at other times? Why don't you just slaughter a couple of Edith's sheep? She's still got one or two left. If anything should happen to me, Charlie, those boys of Edith have orders and enjoy carrying out to do with Jenny. Nothing's gonna happen to you, Prod. There's no need. Get behind that tree. Wait till I whistle. All right. I'll learn anything from any man, even you. Can I have a bolt? Keep your eyes skinned for anything that moves. Everything's an enemy here. Everything. for the dogs. Oh, Hubert, that's not true. It was an accident. Like hell, it was. Don't you... He'll try it again. We've got to get out of here. If you're right... Sure, he is. What do you say, Edith? It is very weakness that makes him so dangerous. Rather than admit it, he'll do something desperate. You've got to get away from here at the first opportunity. What do you want? To settle up. Mm. No. Oh. Ah. oh, it's no good. It's no good. I can't walk. You can go by boat. This, uh, Greg of yours. When did you last see him? Eight months ago. You rang your will again? Of course. Did you support a club? Club? Football! No. My missus didn't care for it either. I used to go 
every Saturday with Andy. I came back one day and found her note. Do you think that stuck-up little bitch is still alive? Probably not. Andy isn't. But it'd be just like it if she was, wouldn't it? Yeah. Andy, he held onto this scarf through all the running from the plague. He'd never even seen a game until I took him to one. He were a farmer, but at least he were a poacher at night. Engineer, Edith said. Greg? Yeah, intellectual type. He's very practical. Not as practical as me. Well, he can make things work. Machines. <laughs> That's why he went to Norway, to get industry started again. You call that being practical? Well, once we have power... Dreams! It? Industry. That can never happen. There are millions more rats than people now. Even the dogs outnumber us. Why, life has taken over. Even Charlie knows that, but he won't admit it. It's the hunters you have to depend on now. Oh, yeah, the big men. That's right! Don't you take the mickey out of me. Selling yourself so I'll be nice and kind to your friends and they won't get hurt. Get out of here! Do I come back tonight? Or shall I send Mavis instead? So, she's been sniggering to you, has she? Just because she doesn't turn me on and never has? If I do come, it'll be in the hope that I might be able to find someone here I could want. What do you mean? A hunter doesn't turn me on at all. But if you were lying there, curled up under that blanket, like a little boy, any woman might want you then. And you might want her. Jenny? Jenny? Anyone seen Jenny? I better find her. Can't go without her. Jenny's in the train if you're looking for her. Edith, are you going <coughs> too? No, of course I'm not. I just want some of my things in safekeeping at the Sheridans. Oh, just give it. Oh, thank you. There we are. Hubert. Yeah. Take everything out of the boat. We're staying. But Charles. What for? We're staying until everybody comes with us. Back to Edith's farm. To live in rooms again. With walls. Where are the rats? We can take care of those. Chop down the nettles, tear up the weeds. Let those sheep have a chance to breed before they poison themselves on Laurel and you. Spin wool again. Make clothes. And if that mill upstream is in as good nick as I'm told it is, we can put a generator there. Make electricity. Electric light. So who's coming with me? Now you shoot me, Steve. And you won't get another chance. You'll be broad for always. A nice knife for a lad. Hunting, shooting, pillaging. But what about for a man, Steve? One day you'll find yourself left behind in a wood. By accident, of course. Running off without telling me. Scared I'll come after you with a big stick. Well, go on. Leave. We don't need you. We're leaving. Just as soon as everybody's ready. Well, you heard. Electric light, nice cosy rooms, darling little lambs are frisking in the fields. Ah, pretty. And some of you can shoot. So you won't need me to deal with the dogs. I'll find you enough to eat in the winter. away from prod that matters it's being seen to run away by the others if we if we can't cope with that lout how can we be relied upon to drive back the rest of the jungle jungle that is broad's word once we catch up with greg oh, greg 
What good will he be if we can't cope with that? Everything we hoped for out of Norway would come to nothing. Meanwhile, it all proliferates out there in a way that only Brod has faced up to. Perhaps we should join him, Evan. Be done with it, then. What? Well, if it is just a dream that we'll ever get back to civilized living again. Believe that, and there's no point in going on. Well, perhaps there isn't. Perhaps we should put ourselves in Brod's hands. He can shoot and hunt. He'll protect us all. And have the country taken over by warrior tribes, hunting in packs like the dogs? Well, it was the way of the old world on a bigger scale than that. Carry your card, pay your dues, join the pack, follow my leader. Brother against brother in the name of brotherhood. And why people like us got away from it all to nice, safe havens like your friends up the river? Well, what else can we do? You'll never get Steve or Owen to take up farming after this. We'll win them over in the end. You didn't get through to them just now, Charles. Well, we, we made a start. I got Broad worried anyway. Look, look, he's out there now. Wondering what our next move will be. Or wondering what his own will be. Got him worried? Yes, that's what worries me. Because you need time, he doesn't. A hunter. Moving in for the kill. He won't botch it this time. You did what? I tried to seduce him. It was something Mavis had put me onto it. Make a man of him in bed and maybe he wouldn't have to compensate so desperately in other ways. Mm, there's something in it. And I know just how it could be done, but I have to pretend to fancy him and I find him repellent. Perhaps Mavis. No, it has to be me. Oh, no, no, that's not the way. Well, what do you suggest, then? I think of something. When? Edith's right, he's not going to give you much time. You press on your own, can't you, but... Hey, try and keep the arrows on the target, eh? Only one way. What's that? The way he would choose. No. The way he is planning to get rid of you now. That would play right into his hands. Who cares about that if he's dead? Once we do things his way, everything we stand for loses credibility. Accident. Come on. Get him under cover. Ah. Oh, he said you'd make a hunter, Hubert. Is this how you want to meet Jenny? Steve. Owen, what a bad Curled up like a little boy. It'll be all right. We can stop the bleeding. Ah, you're lucky, Charlie, to have Hubert. Only tell him he must learn to shoot straight. I should think so if he was aiming for those posts. <laughs> he wasn't so wide of the mark. It was an accident. A dreamer. Try and get his face off. I chose. I was right. Doesn't he? he? It's either you or the next guy. Ask you, but. Ah. Talking will only make you weaker. Oh, how would you have cut me down to size, eh? I'd have won if it hadn't been for Hubert, and you know I would. And Jenny couldn't have stopped me either. Ah, a little boy. 
I would have never have had the courage to be so weak. Not in front of a woman, anyway. Hold on to Hubert. It's the hunters you need. It's hopeless, Charles. No. I've got to save him. Just to prove him wrong, if nothing else. Soon get Edith's farm back now, no trouble. That's what Charles wants, isn't it? Ends justify means. Would have been Charles bleeding to death out there otherwise. Sooner or later. Wasn't room for both. Broad thinks you've taken his place. Hey. Keep hold of Hubert, he said. Something in that. Good idea. What are you trying to save him for? They've not succeeded. Good for you. them rats then. Charles will think of something. Or oh, Hubert. Sun's up. We're gonna start on that farm today, we've got a shift. Mine's late. 